Yo, I had a lot of people ask me in my DMs, yo, when you gonna start talking about your luck journey, when you gonna start giving us info and everything like that. So with that being said, we're about to start right now, right now. Cam Cool, what's good? It's your homeboy Cam Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, a lot of people was asking me in my DMs when I was gonna start talking about my lock journey because it's been so long that I have talked about my lock journey on here at all. Uh, as you can see, I've upgraded and I colored my hair and everything. So I had a little bit of brown, but now I switched it up to uh, like this blonde gold color and some red, as you can see in the back. But what I'm doing now, I wanted to update y'all because y'all had a lot of questions. I seen them on my videos. I seen them in my DMs. I seen y'all asking also on my photos and everything. So I wanted to just inform y'all some things like the top things that I have noticed that you all have been asking. And if you have any questions about something specific that I have missed out on, I want you to go ahead and drop that comment down below ask me the question and I'll make sure if I will either answer it in that comment box or I might just make another video on it that's worthy of a lot of more people even hearing that too so with that being said let's just get right into these questions fam let's go now the first of many questions is yo when will my hair lock up how will I know that my hair is locked up and when will it actually be locked up now if I'm keeping it a buck with you a lot of people will say it's just gonna be in four or five months and hey it could be true that's like pulling a lottery ticket out of the blue and hitting the winning number because everybody's hair is different. All hair texture is different. Some soak up water and oil in different ways. So it all depends on your hair specifically, how much is being trained, how much is being washed and cleaned and everything like that. It's up to your hair. Seeing that everybody is different, everybody will have different time limits that their hair begin, just begins to lock up. If I'm keeping it above what you mind, didn't even start locking up completely until six, seven months in. And from there, that's when I was just noticing like little puffs in my head. That's the budding process. That doesn't mean that your hair is completely locked up so I don't want you to go wild and start getting crazy hairstyles or anything like that. It just means that your hair is beginning to understand this process and now it's starting to lock. But mine didn't completely lock up until a year and a half. When I got to a year and a half, that's when my hair was completely locked up from top to bottom. So everybody's process is different. Do not just think that it's gonna lock up in four months, five months. It takes time and your hair has to train itself. So give it some time and just trust the process. Now, another big question that I get is, yo, how often should I retwist my hair? It's pretty much different for everybody. Now, I will say you should get your hair retwisted every month when you first start now when you first starting out your hair needs to understand the coiling process so it needs to understand to coil a specific way and have them twisted the same exact way don't have them twisted one way and the next time you go back they twisting it the opposite way your hair needs to train itself to actually lock up in that area so I will actually say like every month go ahead and get your hair retwisted and every time that you go to your loctician get your hair washed. When you get to that mid stage, when your hair is actually locking up and everything, then that's when you wanna delay for a while and let your hair grow as much as it possibly can. So I would say go a month and a half or maybe two. Now, for example, I'll show you my hair because right now I'm at two months right now with my hair without it being retwisted, I'll show you right now. All right, and that's just too much. So exactly like I said, hey, you don't need to always go back every month once your hair start locking up. You really don't. Embrace that fuzz that's on top of your head. Let it chill, because it looks good. Just go ahead about your day. All right, next question is, how often should I oil my scalp? When they say that the lock process is for your hair, it's not just for your hair, it's also for you. This is the important time for you to pay attention to your hair. You need to know your hair in order for you to know your own lock journey. You need to focus on what makes your hair tick, what makes your hair itch, what makes your hair flaky, what makes it oily, if your hair does soak up oil, if it doesn't accept oil, what type of oil is best for you to use. But when you starting off, I want you to oil your your hair every three days or so start to understand the process now I'm not gonna say hey every three days oil your scalp and you'll be good right off the bat because your hair probably need oil acceptance every two days or every day it depends on your hair texture or what your scalp accepts as well now very important note that I want you to keep in mind is to never let your scalp go dry so you want to make sure that your scalp is oil and that hair is moisturized so use a little rose water for your hair from time to time and I also want you to oil your scalp 
every three days just starting out then after that you start learning about your hair start focusing and learn what makes your hair do what so like i said every three days next question is how do you avoid the fuzz now that's kind of simple but at the same time i want you to understand the fuzz is going to happen regardless after a while your hair is going to fuzz up but what you do with your hair and how you take care of it will show how long it takes for your hair to become fuzz but in order for you to avoid the fuzz coming so fast it's simple a bonnet or do rag and it has to be like a silky bonnet or do rag or something like that don't get a cotton one that's going clamp onto your locks and untwist your coils and everything like that and don't get no wool one that's not gonna let your hair breathe because that's when gunk and stuff get caught up in there get a silk do rag or get a silk bonnet it's that simple and lastly it's kind of a two for two question and answer now a lot of people usually say yo i heard having locks is expensive how do i not spend so much and how do i defeat the ugly stage now that's kind of a two for two answer it's simple because you have to think about it as your locks is going to be in for a month or so 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 having your locks is gonna be yes it's gonna be expensive I will tell you that when you do start your locks off that's gonna be the most expensive part but when you get your hair retwisted and everything since it's already coiled up getting it retwisted is not that expensive but it is more than getting a haircut and again keep in mind that you're going to get this done every month now if you have high top locks like I do not only will you have to take care of this you also have to take care of all of this and the beard and everything so that means you have to go and get your hair cut too now haircuts aren't aren't cheap anymore they're about $50 now. It's not $25 or anything like that. That's $50 plus tip. And when you're doing that with your loctician, it's gonna be whatever you have to pay plus tip. So it is gonna be a little bit expensive. Now the way that you cut cost on that is the same way that I take care of myself to defeat the ugly stage. It's simple. Take care of your maintenance on your own just because you have your hair being fuzzy and everything like that and you're in between that stage of not getting your hair retwisted and waiting for a few more weeks look you can still take care of your own maintenance yourself you can line yourself up you can take care of your beard and all that stuff by yourself besides taking care of my beard I haven't touched a pair of clippers on my head because I always have my barber taking care of it. But when this pandemic actually kicked in, it was up to me to actually take care of my own hair because I was scared as hell of the pandemic. So what I did, I had to learn myself on how to cut my own hair, which I'll show y'all in just a second. I'm gonna show y'all how I take care of my own maintenance. So like I said, it's about taking care of self maintenance. Wear your do-rag, trim your beard a little bit, line yourself up, wear your do-rag, take care of those locks, make sure you are spraying that water up in your hair, moisturizing it, oil it, take care of it, and you will actually defeat the ugly stage. And on top of that, you'll be able to defeat being an expensive time having your locks. Simple as that. All right, now, like I said, I've been taking care of my own hair by myself. And as you can see, like my beard is scruffy. My hair, it looks messy on the side and everything like that. But at the same time, that's cool because I'm gonna show y'all how I actually take care of it myself. So let's just head to this bathroom real quick. Let me go show you how I pull out these tools real quick and take care of myself. Let's go. Just like that, a uh, clean, quick fade that's on the side, real quick, nice little blend. And if I wanted to put the hat to the side like I normally do or whatsoever, just keep it chill with the, oh, not the bang yang type of thing or whatsoever, whatever y'all want to call it. Still look clean, still look proportioned and everything. You got this nice, clean, maintenance look, so simple as that. But with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I'll catch up with y'all on the next video. Drop those comments down below. Let me know if y'all have any particular questions, any type of videos y'all want me to shoot based on my hair or whatever it may be. My lifestyle, sneaker style, and all that stuff. Drop those comments down below. Hit that like, hit that like button, and I'll catch up with y'all on y'all next one. Y'all already know how to go. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holla at y'all. Peace.